Hi guys! Today it's Kenilworth Half and 5k! So Hayley is sadly, well not sadly, but she's, she's representing Kenilworth Runners, <laughs> our local club, well our club. <laughs> I will be participating in, wait for it, the 5k. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing big today, but all our effort nevertheless. Hoping you get all the best bits of the course though, you get the castle. Yeah, you get the castle, so. get a lovely hill. <laughs> and the high street for now. And then afterwards I'll be doing some volunteering as well, handing out some t-shirts, so quite an exciting day to come around really. Hayley, wow. what are you expecting on your martial feet? Uh, hopefully no drama. I am on a road that you can't escape because you're... There's no sort of, diversion yeah. access at all, they're locked in. So, um, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> but, yeah, it should be fine. Hopefully. And then, yeah, I reckon it'll be... 5k should be a pretty tight race. There's a lot of quick club runners there. Yeah, I'm not going to win it. But <laughs> you can't knock yourself it's all about. Stuff, it's all it? about nice, consistent pacing that I never do. <laughs> But yeah, we're in the Sand Nines again today. Wow. <laughs> and this is a kennel half marathon and 5k i've never actually done the 5k before so it's going to be an interesting one this is my hometown so it should be decently quick there are a few bumps in the road but you do go through kennel castle and the first k is off to a quick start my aim for this race was to hopefully go mid 16s just an all-out effort see where i'm at for the day we go through 1k roughly in around 3.13 for the first split which is 3 seconds quicker than my PB pace so I know I'm probably not going to be able to hold this. This is where we get to go through Kenworth Castle which is actually a lovely part of the course. They get to open it up solely for this race normally you're not actually allowed to run through here it's not really open to the public that early this is run by kenneth runners which is my running club so it's the green vests you'll see all throughout the course and all of the marshals most of them are kenneth runners themselves you can also see on the left here this is the half marathon setting off which is quite nice we started about five minutes before them second k we get and we've slowed down it's about 324 so we have slowed down quite considerably but overall i think we're still on for a good time looks like i've just got uh, mark he's i uh, run with regularly at the club luke who went off at the front was nowhere near us so we just had to let him go i think me and mark made a little pace group at the front so this is our chase pack and we are heading into K number three now, and we've sped up a little bit. 320, well, yeah, 320 is what's on the clock. And this is the half marathon 5K split at the top of the hill. We then head all the way back to finish the half marathon route, which is the end of the 5K. But it's a lovely, drizzly, coolish day, which is perfect conditions for a 5K or a half marathon in this case and there's quite a lot of people entered for this race there was about 200 300 in the 5k and i think 1200 or so in the half the fourth k we went through slightly slower again in 324 so the same as the second k this is the final hill heading up towards the high street and mark is really making me work for it he kept pushing me every single 200 300 meters or so he'd keep overtaking me so it was definitely a great battle between me and mark and we are just approaching the final k 
couple hundred meters and it's where it gets very very interesting between me and mark and this is where i decide to surge on you can see my pace has dropped below three minutes per k which is crazy i just have to keep up this pace to not let mark overtake me but it was a great race overall now the question is ryan is mark gonna take you out in the last hundred meters i'm trying to encourage a bit of sprinting here Come on, Ryan! Come on, Ryan! Come on, Ryan! Come on! Yay! Come on! Yay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey! Well done, Mark. That's our top three then for the 5K. Okay, well done, guys. So it's now a very wet and rainy event. Luckily I'm under a tent. We've just, I just finished the 5k. Managed to come second. I'll put the results up here. Hayley did a great job of showing me where to go. Could have got lost otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> I'll put the pace as well on my screen. But how did you find it Hayley? Watching us go past. It was an honor. That is a wrap, the end of Kenneth Half Marathon and 5K. <laughs> if you wanted to see the full Kenneth Half video, it was on Haley's head, <laughs> but click up there. That's pretty exciting. <laughs> but if you want to see a rendition of this year's video, go and check out Mom's video. Yeah, we'll put a link to it below. But it was a good day, sunny good in the vibes, end. Yeah, it was nice for all the marshes that it dried up, I think. Some people at the water station were like fully soaked, I think. Yeah. So. Got a t shirt each. Gonna be wearing that for our it's winter nice training. Well, yeah. It's a nice teal colour. I'll put a photo of it on here. And we have a little treat for the 900 subscriber special. So if you aren't following, click the link below. Yeah, we're, new. we're getting there. But yeah, don't worry, that'll be coming out soon. Hayley wants the video to end now because she's... I can feel sweat going down my face, <laughs> that warm in her. It's too warm in the car. So, from Rayleigh Adventures, we'll see you at the Nationals in Telford. On to our next adventure. adventure.